gameplay itself, or Realms Beyond. And I think, let's take a look at the uh, user interface. So, uh, I'm going to enter the Halls of Challenge. I've created all the characters, so let's go ahead and add them. So I have a human, pa a human fighter, a dwarf paladin, a ranger, cleric, rogue, human cleric, human ranger, and halfling wizard. So let's do this one. All right, let's go. around. We have the day, hour, what time of the day it is. Isometric view. It looks like we can highlight anything that is interactive on the screen. Okay, we don't know what that is. That's why there's a question mark. It looks like if we hover above the item, it will sh say what it is. And I imagine that uh, we can pick up the item if we click on it. Okay. It gives us the information down here. General events, reduced combat events, detailed combat events. So we can choose to have more or less of one and other things. Okay. We have a map, but we don't know anything around here, so... And then we have our party screen. Looks like we can see our party. And, uh... A Dwarven War Axe, a one-headed slashing, but it's an exotic weapon. That means only the dwarf can equip it without penalty. Oh. Let's see. I guess that's not actually the case. I was I think I was thinking of a different rule set, so that's probably not what I imagined it to be. But yeah, it looks like shared inventory. Um, some characters have spells. So if we hover, or sorry, click on the spell, we can read the description, which includes components and what it does. All of this is very familiar for those that have played D&D 3.5 plus four bonus to AC. Penalties, no failure, no speed reductions. Sleep is limited to four hit dice. Always keep this in mind. Uh, wizards work a lot like sorcerers in this game because they can cast any spell that they actually have, uh, but they are limited to the number of spells that they actually possess in relationship to their current options. So that's how that works, is my understanding. Um, helpless creatures are, of course, going to be killed. There's a lot of red words. They're probably inter um, highlightable when they get done. But yeah, healing spells, positive energy, this is important how much you heal, what the cap is, and of course, how you take damage and save, as well as other factors. This is all very relatable. These are your stats, and then you have other things. Exhaustion, hunger, thirst, 
and sanity. How they impact your statistics is unknown, at least doesn't seem to be known, but it very likely will uh, negatively apply to any actions you take in battle, and maybe even out of battle. You have feats, like um, this cleric has the toughness feat, which is, means that he has um, three more hit points, and all these other things. And I took combat casting too. And then we have the skills, which um, have the ranks, the statistical bonus, and probably when you're actually doing the check, you'll get racial bonuses as well. Because those are, of course, useful. Mm, this is not ready yet, it seems. Okay. Uh, looks like we can interact with chests. We can take all items and they will all go to the inventory. We can pick up scrolls, flasks, potions. and weapons and armor. So let's just take all this stuff. Looks like there's gloves and armor on these um, mannequins. It is rather nice that these um, elements are interactable, almost as if everything you see, you can pick up. And that's pretty cool. It's really easy to miss stuff. You gotta really know what you're doing. Best to uh, carefully look around. I'm not sure how the perception skill will interact in this way. There might be hidden items um, that you can touch. Okay, so let's go back to, let's look around elsewhere. So we have options menu. It doesn't have many things in it at the moment party screen, fight defensively, okay, cast, uh, yeah, cast defensively. So basically these are some uh, character specific um, toggles so that uh, you can use these options. And some other factors. World map, special attacks. Special actions, such as charge, aid another, turn undead in the case of the cleric. So that's where you'll find that. And spells. So, yeah. So you can cast Mage Armor uh, right now. So let me demonstrate that. No, oh, I should probably be. Uh, I should. Okay. All right. So it toggles on and off. That's good to know. Okay. So now let's cast it. Let's see what this looks like. So now her armor class should be higher. No, not you. Okay. There we go. Recruitment. Yes, 19 AC, um, because she has 
18 dexterity. And she's a halfling, so she actually has a bonus from that. And on top of that, now she has her mag mage armor. So she has a total of four from dexterity, four from mage armor, and one from halfling. For a total of 19 armor class. So that's how that works. Um, let's see. Let's try equipping the fighter. So let's give him chainmail, for example. This gives him plus two. So now his AC is 13 because I have a dex bonus of plus one. Um, now it looks like... So chainmail in normal 3.5 gives a lot more than that, usually around five if I'm not mistaken. So I think they're splitting up the armor class. Shields, that shield gives plus one. So it's basically a small shield. Yep. Alright. Uh, yeah, one-handed slashing weapons. It's good with one-handed slashing weapons. So that's why. Yeah, melee. Four. Base attack bonus plus one. Um, feet with weapon focus. One-handed slashing gives him six altogether. So that's how that works. Now, let's see what happens with it. This on. Okay. Let's see, this increases it to 16. Yes, it does. What about Greaves? Nope. Because it doesn't do enough. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's no, uh, no good shoes, because I've already gotten most of my armor class out. It's going to have to not wear shoes. Let's see. Hide armor. Chainmail. Oh, actually, that would be... Oh, that would actually be worth it for him. Because then we could put on some shoes. Put on some. There we go. Then we could give him the better helmet. And then the shoes. Okay, there we go. And a shield. Uh, let's give him a uh, hmm not very many weapons okay that'll do all right but give the wizard the wizard equipment. Some gloves. Oh, penalties. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, reinforced leather gloves and leather boots. There we go. You can wear this dirty tunic and the dirty gloves and the helmet just to help you out there. Okay, and you can have the short bow and the wooden arrows. Very nice. You can have the crossbow and the bolts. Hmm, we don't have any more shields, so let's 
give him a simple weapon, like a spear. Keep him away from the monsters so that he has some distance there. Okay. Ooh, a rapier. Oh. He's not getting as much, but oh well. Maybe this will be better. No. I wonder if I have... Oh, yes, there's more shoes! Of course, I'd be missing some shoes. So let's put those on... boots. Just to have something on. Okay, there we go. Just in case, you bet. Hmm. Don't know what the scrolls do. We have plenty of food. Organize the inventory. Nope, that doesn't help. Okay. With that, all right. I think that's enough exploration of the user interface. I hope you enjoyed it. 